Uh, Pete, I see you've got the iPhone 13 Pro Maximum Edition there. Yes, I have maxed out my proness. Excellent. But I notice that you're taking a massive risk by not deploying a protective case yeah, on but your iPhone. Look, it's so pretty and surgical steel and everything. Yeah, but this is the Apple way. You get to appreciate how pretty it is for just a few seconds after you've taken it out of the box, and then you put a protective case on it. Now, Apple yeah. would like you to buy their protective case at uh, great expense, but instead, why not consider one of these ESR cases that ESR kindly sent over? That was smooth, yeah. Yeah, uh, I, there's certainly I, a lot of them there. I like to do smooth, and uh, I think that we should unbox every single one of these and take a look. Okay, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I reckon that's four for you and four for me. <laughs> So I've got with me my trusty Swiss Army knife, Pete. What are you going to use to open your boxes? Sheer brute force. Okay. Do you want the boxes intact afterwards? Well, it'd be nice to just to be able to know what came from what. We're going to speed this bit up, guys. So every case that you get from ESR includes what is obviously a stand for putting your iPhone on. Pete, I'm going to pass this one over to you. This is our, our first case. This is a clear plastic case, but it has ESR's Halo Lock magnetic ring in it. Yeah. Uh, I assume that's there to increase the strength of the magnet when you're using the case. Um, we did review the Halo Lock charger on the channel, put a, a link to that video, and we have got some in-car Halo Lock chargers to review as well, which we will do at some point. What do you think of that? This one's, this one's got quite a bit of extra protection around the edges. It's almost like a crystal cover. It, it's beautiful, actually. It really shows off the iPhone really nicely. I like that a lot. These cases, because they're not at the insane prices that uh, Apple charge for their cases, it means that you can have a spare. So if you're like, for instance, you're going out and about climbing mountains like you were last week, you can have a more robust case. Mm. Though I will say it's already covered with your fingerprints and doesn't yeah. look very nice anymore. Which, you know, is a valid valid thing we are testing these. Uh, so this one is oh that's like a, a black silicone feel oh that feels like a baby seal i've never felt a baby seal it's how i imagine a baby seal would feel mm. i do think the camera bump is quite quite large on that you, do you have an official apple case to hand by any chance Pete? and how big is the, the bump in comparison to the official apple case actually i'd say it's about the same about the same yeah, it's just because the, the Apple one comes up more gradually. It doesn't look as big, but it is. Right. Let's unwrap another one. Now, what's different about this case compared to that one? Or are they indeed exactly the same? They are exactly the same. So uh, multiple versions of the same thing. And uh, so it's the same thing again. Yeah. We're, we're wasting the viewer's time. Pete. Ooh. Oh, it's gen genuine leather. Interesting. Uh, which will please some people and upset others, I imagine. But, oh, that is nice. No, I do like that. Yeah, because this is my official Apple one. So your official Apple one, which, yeah, it's a smoother leather. This one's more textured. Again, we've got the, the flock cover inside. But this one's got uh, the blinged up buttons, look. So yeah, so, got... so is mine. So is mine, look. Has it? Yeah, yeah bling. Uh, okay, yeah, shiny buttons. Yeah. Do you want to get them? Has it got a? Uh, has it got a little bit of trim around the uh, camera? Button? No, I'm lacking trim. Mm -hmm. You got there. That's another clear one. Oh, that's different though. What's that at the bottom? This has got an inbuilt. Uh, I think that's all it is. An inbuilt it's like stand. A little kickstand. Yeah, that's quite convenient actually, and it doesn't stick out that much either, does it? No, that that is good. It makes it into like a Surface Pro, but probably more power. What's that then? Uh, that's exactly the same as those. Okay. Oh, no, it's, no not. it's not. It's not a magnetic. It's not got the halo bit. Uh, I'm missing the halo lock. Would you say that the quality is any less Honestly, than what Apple's they are doing? superb. I, I would be very happy with one of these cases. Mm. Uh, ESR do make nice stuff. Uh, I don't feel like I've downtraded in actual fact. I'm. If it's okay, I'm going to keep, keep the brown one. I'm going to keep the clear one because I know you haven't got an iPhone Pro Max. Uh, could you pop this black one on your phone? I'm just interested to see how much of a lip there is to protect the screen. Now, of course, ESR do screen protectors as well, but you don't like using a screen protector. No. So that's quite, a, that's quite a chunky case, I would say. 
if you compare that, for example, to this one, which is not an ESR case that I've got on my phone, you can see it's a, a lot more slender, but yeah. then I'm using a screen protector. All right, so there you go, a whole bunch of ESR phone cases for your viewing pleasure. Uh, there's not much you can say about a phone case at the end of the day. Uh, these certainly do look very good quality. I think the pricing is favorable. So if you want to get one of these for yourself, have a look at the links in the description. And uh, we'll see you again soon for some more geekery. Cheerio.